The Series S2000 is a mechanical differential pressure gauge commonly found in dust collectors, air handlers, clean rooms, and many other applications. This video will guide you through several ways of installing the S2000 for your application needs. Depending on how you wish to install your S2000, you will need to connect the brass connection fittings to the back or side ports of the gauge. To properly do this, it is recommended that the thread seal tape is placed on the threads of the fittings prior to screwing them into the ports to prevent air leaks from the connection. Insert plugs into the gauge as well according to your preferred mounting orientation. You can learn more about the proper setup of the gauge by visiting the link in the description below. The most common way of installing the S2000 is by mounting it flush into a 4 9 16 inch diameter hole. Once the hole is cut, place the S2000 so that the bezel lays flush against the surface. Using the small screws provided, attach the mounting tabs to the three mounting screw holes found evenly spaced on the back side of the gauge. Once the tabs are mounted, insert the long screws into the available holes of the mounting tabs. It is recommended that the screws are tightened in an alternating fashion to ensure a flush mounting of the gauge. Once the gauge is installed, you can connect tubing to the proper ports needed for your application. A second common option for installation is surface mounting by using a surface mounting plate. For this application, the brass fittings will need to be installed in the ports on the side of the gauge and the plugs will need to be installed on the back. Once the fittings and plugs are installed, use the small screws provided to attach the mounting plate to the back of the gauge. With the gauge secured to the plate, Use the additional screws to mount the bracket to the preferred surface. For a more portable option, the L bracket can be used to take the gauge from location to location. Similar to the surface mount, the L bracket requires the fittings to be installed on the side of the gauge along with the plugs on the back. Use the small screws to fashion the gauge onto the L bracket. With the gauge attached to the bracket, it is now able to be